We were absolutely astounded when we saw this video for the first time. We deployed these video cameras on several species of shark captured a couple of miles offshore from our base on Coconut Island. And the cameras were deployed on tiger sharks, Galapagos sharks, and sandbar sharks. In the footage that we recovered from the Galapagos shark, we see the camera equipped shark casually gliding over the coral reef through these big schools of fishes and get a real shark's eye view of what it's like to swim with another shark over a coral reef. In the second sandbar shark video that we have, we see that the shark is swimming very close to a coral reef. You can see it swimming around over and through the reef and encountering many different types of coral reef fishes. And you can see them running for cover, looking for holes in the reef and ledges. They swim down and hide in those holes as that sandbar shark approaches. The larger reef fishes that the shark encounters are more curious than anything. You see them circling around in front of the shark, but they don't really try to escape. We recovered the video camera and saw these fantastic images of the sandbar shark swimming within a large mixed aggregation of other sharks, including sandbar sharks, oceanic black tips, and primarily large scalloped hammerhead sharks. Here we're seeing the kinds of social interactions that sharks partake in as they go about their daily lives. And it's really given us a shark's eye view of the marine environment that they live in. And this is the first time that images of a shark aggregation have been recorded by something other than a human cameraman. During the course of the day, the aggregation forms initially down on the seabed in relatively deep between two and 300 feet, and then it gradually spirals upwards and you catch glimpses of more and more sharks within the aggregation. And then as night approaches, the aggregation disperses and each of those sharks goes its own way. <laughs> 